All right, so we have to give you a little bit of a sad update. If you missed the video before this, I give like a really big update on what was going on with Karma. So you'll probably wanna watch that to get a little bit more in depth of what was going on with him. I just watched the video and I like, was like, I was so hopeful in the video. I can tell that I like wasn't really thinking that it was gonna be over so soon. And the only reason I'm making this video is because I really do want to talk about it and I know you guys love him so much. Yeah, there's been hundreds of messages. <laughs> hundreds and... About him and videos and pictures and he affected a lot of people. He touched a lot of people. I mean, he's been in all of our videos and he was such an intricate part of our life and our family and our story and our story and so I know people fell in love with him like he was literally like the most special dog so we obviously loved him and my entire family loved him and I know that you guys loved him and so I there's a part of me that just really needed to talk about it with you guys and tell you guys kind of what happened and it's been a couple days so I felt like, I feel like I can talk about it a little bit but it's still very 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 hard in the last video, I really, I was really hopeful. I was really thinking like if I just got him to Monday, that was Saturday night. If I got him to Monday, I could get him to another vet, get him more medication. Get I read a second a, opinion maybe. Mm -hmm, something something Some that could details. help him. It wasn't even out of the question to do surgery if that was something the vet was like, no, we could. But I just knew I needed to get him to Monday. And then I read so many stories about the herbal supplement that I was giving him that I was like, oh my gosh, like, that vet gave him like one or two days, but mm -hmm. he's gonna be okay. Like we're gonna slow this down and we're gonna be able to get him help. And he just seemed okay. He didn't seem like he was, knew he was slow and knew he was like yeah. not perfect. He was drinking water, he was going to the The reason we took him to the vet was just, he was slightly slower. Slightly, like nothing crazy. But it was enough for me to have concern. And yeah. It was enough, but it, I didn't think that it was it was like anything crazy. So, in fact, after I ended that video, um, we went to bed that night, and I, it actually was a good night too. Yeah. Like, he slept um, on the bed. He slept on the bed. He got off the bed a couple times. Slept on the floor. Then, like, he asked to go out, so I went and took him out, and he drank some water, and I just watched him, and he like just seemed his normal like slow self, but like it, it wasn't that bad. So you got water with him in the middle of the night? In the middle of the night, yeah. Yeah, and then at 6 a.m. I took him outside. Mm -hmm. He actually went downstairs. He was very, very sluggish. Yeah. But he, he made it downstairs really he went quickly. Potty. He went potty. He sniffed. It was like a cold morning. Yeah. I knew coming up the stairs. It wasn't good. He had a hard time getting up the stairs and at that point Brian tried to get him on the bed and before that he'd been getting on the bed like yeah. with a little bit of help but this time I don't think he was able to get on the bed. No, I think he put his paws up and I lifted him the rest of the way. And, and he didn't move after he that. He sat there for a couple hours and just slept. And I, I, but I mean, he slept, so I, I still, I actually woke up that morning and it was my baby shower and I was thinking, oh yeah, he had a great night, he's still sleeping right now, but we'll get up in a second and, and get moving and, you know, he'll be okay. And, but at that point, when we tried to get him off the bed, he was not getting off the bed. He was not walking. And it was probably about four or five hours since he'd last gone potty, so we knew he had to go pee. Yeah. So then we got him out to the living room, enough to get him out to the living room onto his little bed. At that point, I kind of realized like he wasn't getting up again. We could yeah. not get him to get up again at all. Like, not at all. We tried so much. We tried to just help him, like hold him, to try to get him to walk, and he was not moving. Yeah, he um, went, went down pretty fast from there. Yeah, from there, and that's when I realized like, like my, I didn't have any more time. Like this was gonna be it, and I kind of had to. We, we got some more pills in him with some peanut butter, mm -hmm. but he wasn't eating. He wasn't drinking. Wasn't I was getting. I was putting water in his mouth, and he was just like lapping it up, like yeah. didn't care. I could tell his gums were getting whiter, which was a sign that the bleeding was happening faster, and it just meant that like at any point his blood pressure could drop and. Honestly, at that point, we were trying to figure out what was next because 
We didn't want him to like have any pain. We didn't want him to suffer. We didn't want to see him struggle to breathe or have any issues. And so it was just like this like constant struggle of like, is he okay? Like the part of me just kept thinking he was gonna get up and like walk around again and be fine. He just I was, get up. I really wanted to like maybe take him outside, maybe see the sunset, but <laughs> no, he wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> so it just happened so fast and so unexpected. Yeah. But yeah. It was kind of a blessing because it was it was supposed to be your baby shower. So everyone was in, in town and everyone that loved him and everyone that he loved got, got to, to come by and say hot bye to him. And he would wag his tail and they came in and said yeah. his name. He'd wag it for a minute and then, and then lay back down and like lay his head down. And my brother, my mom, my dad, Cassie on FaceTime, we were all just holding him and loving him. And he finally passed. And it was just, it's just so hard. He literally is just like, so special. I don't know why he is like the most special dog. <laughs> He taught us so much. I think he was there for a lot of a lot of big, hurt a lot for of us. Big things that happened in my heart. He knew everything. He knew everything that we'd been through that was so big and so difficult for us. And I kind of had this feeling that he knew that like it was his time that everything was okay now, and that we have a baby girl coming, and that I'm okay and I'm gonna be okay without him. He was just. You're just always here for me no matter what. You love me so much. It's yeah. been really hard. The boys have been really, really sad. It's just been a really, really rough couple of days. Honestly, I'm so thankful for the videos that we have of him. We, I have gained a lot of comfort from being able to watch and see how much we loved him. Like, I he know was, how much I loved him. He was our him. best friend. Like, he was our boy. Like, we had him before we had kids. Yeah. And we were making videos here on YouTube. Like, <laughs> we didn't know what to do. So we were taking him to the park and... And showing off how amazing he was. How amazing he was. And he just instantly loved the camera. Like, he loved <laughs> doing what we said. And yeah. he had the cutest expressions. And he was always having fun. Like, yeah. his tail was always wagging. I remember him knocking over so many things yep. with that big old tail. Yeah. I loved his tail. Yeah, he's a big part of daily bumps. Yeah. I, I really, like, I knew, like, a lot of people loved karma, but, <laughs> man, the amount of messages was yeah. crazy. It really is. It, may, it actually it really brought a lot, a lot of comfort to us, knowing that yeah. it wasn't just us who loved him. It, like, so many people loved him, and he really was special. And it's like, I watched those videos back, and I just, I'm so happy to, that, like, I knew how much I loved him, but seeing how much I loved him, even in every single video that we made with him, it just, like, it makes my heart so happy knowing that he lived, like, the best life, like, a completely loved life, and he loved us so much. You can he see his so love through. so much love and joy to other people, too. You can see it in the videos how much he loved us, and there's actually some amazing videos. Like, I did a video, like, a furry friends tag that I, I watched, and I talked all about his story and how we found each other and how we, like, instantly just loved each other. Like, we looked at each other's eyes and, like, yeah. knew we were soulmates. <laughs> and from that point on, I just loved him, and I even talk about in that video, like, it scares me to think that there's a day I, I might have to not have him anymore and and now here it is it just felt it felt so it just really feels, so. It feels like shocking it feels way yeah. too soon I wasn't ready I didn't th I thought I had more time so it's just been really really difficult but I, I'm one thing though is that he will like never be forgotten. We're gonna talk about him all the time. He's everywhere. <laughs> He's right freaking there. Brian, <laughs> Brian made this for me for Christmas one year. This and Luna. And honestly, best I mean, look ever. at this. <laughs> A fan made this for us. Maybe like Probably year like one or two. the first or second year, yeah. I mean, he's it captures his emotions, his eyes, how he like looks at you. It's yeah. Just, no, may have one more. Okay. 
funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. It's pretty great. He's everywhere in this house. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just going to be a hard couple of weeks. I'm sure I'm really feels like losing a family member. It's been, it's really, really hard. But I really appreciate everyone's love and everyone caring so much. It, it honestly has made me feel better. Like all the special. comments and all the posts and the videos and just like the little reminders, yeah. you know? Yeah. So thank you guys. We'll make a little playlist of all of our videos. karma videos, probably every video that contains him. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try to do a really nice memorial video of him so everyone can see all the fun memories. Yeah. All right, our camera died before we could end the video, but like we're I know, right? <laughs> but we wanted to say if you guys had a fun karma memory or like a favorite karma memory, leave it in the comments. Yeah, I love reading them. Be super Thank cool. Thank you. Okay, bye.